Good morning, it's another day home alone, so that means I'm going to do a little daily vlog. Um, um, yeah, so I think today I might actually be heading into Guildford because I need to return something, which has quite a long story to it. You might have seen it if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, um, but I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you like this video, and yeah, let's get into this vlog. <music> the view today for my little life update <laughs> i literally did one of these like two weeks ago but anyway um and also last time i filmed it was really far away so you couldn't quite hear me as well so yeah you're on my coffee table right now but i do have a job update so i am actually going back to work on the 21st of july which is very exciting i'm aware it's like cutting my head off <laughs> um so yeah i am going back to work for the company i did my like internship with through uni um so yeah, it was very like up in the air as I said last vlog, like I was waiting for a meeting. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going back to do a different role. So I'm not actually going to be working social media anymore. I'm going to be working in project management, which is exciting. Something I've never really done before um, for like the release of a new product. I can't say what it is at the moment, but yeah. So I'm going back on a part-time basis again because it's quite a small business. She can't afford to like employ me on a permanent contract. But she is saying, like, hopefully with the release of this product and, like, releasing well with other services, that she may be able to take me and a few of the other Kickstarters on, like, a permanent basis in, like, six months' time or something. Um, so, yeah, I'm going back part-time, so it'll be around 15 to 20 hours a week, so, which is nice. Like, I think, I think I did always put pressure on myself to get, like, a full-time job when I left uni, but you know what? I've like as I said, I've done like a full time degree for the past like two years as well as my internship work. Like when I was in uni times, like I remember like January February, I was literally working like six days a week to fit in all the hours of my internship as well as all my like uni assignment hours as well. So I think it's actually kind of nice to go back into work or start work just on part time. Um, so yeah, she said we can work out the days I can do it. So I could either do like three full days or maybe four days which is slightly shorter i don't know we'll see and it's also quite nice because i have like booked a few things as i said i'm going to cambridge i'm going to brighton as well so if i've had any weekends away or things like that i can always just sort of adjust my work schedule so that was just really really nice um so yeah i just kind of wanted to say like if you're someone who's going into part-time work or going back to a job which you've had since you're like 16 like there is no shame in that at all and i think we deserve it like i said uni degrees they are tiring especially in like third year as i said a lot of the time I was doing like five days a week pretty much nine to five. Just, it has been nice to have a break but I'm the sort of person I need to be doing something in my life hence why I'm filming more YouTube content and more TikTok content because it gives me something to focus on and yeah I, I don't like not having structure to my day so I, during the week I still make little like to do lists just so keeping my brain busy and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. So as I said, I start my new job on the 21st of July, which I'm excited for. Uh, a little bit nervous, as I said, because like I've never done project management in my life, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, and uh, she did. She was really accommodating as well. She basically said like, if you if you find like a more permanent full time job in the meantime, like if, if you want to go to interviews, that's absolutely fine. She said I completely get you're a graduate now. You probably want like a full time job. Um, which, which I do obviously in the long term if I want to live on my own or buy a house whatever I will need a full time job to like fund that but you know what at the moment I'm in no rush to move out of out of home like I'm quite a homely person I'm quite happy living here for the meantime anyway um, so yeah I'm just going to stick with my part time work for now and then just see what else is out there um, but it's just like nice to have some sort of work like some sort of money coming in not just me living off my savings <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. I'm going to tell you the story of my play suit and why I need to return that. So I went to the podcast awards on Saturday and I had to get three trains to get there. Um, so as I said, I when I put the uh, play suit on, I did notice like one of the zips was like a little bit tight. Not because it didn't like fit me, it was just like, you know when the zips are just a bit awkward, like they take a while to like pull up sort of thing. And I was like, oh, just probably it's new, like I just need to like wear in a bit. Um, but yeah, I went to the toilet before I left the house, it was all fine, it still zipped up. And then I, so I had to get a train to London, or like Clapham Junction, and then I had to get another train from Clapham to London, Victoria, to get to Brixton. Um, so yeah, I, after the train from Clapham to Victoria, 
I was like, I, I might as well go to the toilet now whilst I've got like a long sort of wait for the next train. So I went to the toilets in London, Victoria, and as I was zipping the play suit like back up the rib, like, do you know, I'll show you actually. Right, do you know how on like strappy tops or like play suits you get these kind of like ribbons which you can use to like hang up your clothes on a hanger? Um, so yeah, when I was in the toilet, basically, as you see on this side, the ribbon got stuck like in the zip. Um, but it was like fully done up at this point. So I was like, oh, it's fine, I'll just pull the zip back down. So obviously I can get out and like take the uh, ribbon out of the zip. Um, <laughs> and then in the process of like trying to pull it back down or back up, I don't really know. As you can see, the whole zip has just like, like you can't move it, you can't pull it back down. The zip won't go back together so yeah i just can't wear it anymore um and then as you can see it's like down the side of the play suit so all of that showed off my bra and my neck was like oh my god i can't go to an event um like wearing something that's broken especially as my cat my work podcast was nominated for an award i was like if i've got a graph stage, i can't be looking like that and then i thought oh it's fine like i've got a um I've got a denim jacket, I'll just wear that over the top. But even when I had the denim jacket, you could still see, like, my knickerline. I was like, no, I just feel really self-conscious all day. So I was like, oh my God, because things, I don't really go to London, Victoria that much. Like, my direct train line to London goes to London Waterloo. Um, so I was really panicking. I was like, oh my God, like, where, like, what, like, what shops are around here sort of thing. But luckily, there was an Oliver Bonus opened. And, like, there was a monsoon next door, but that wasn't open. Um, so I was like, right, there's got to be something in Oliver Bonus, because it was, like, there was more clothes in there than, like, homeware. Um, so I went in and I kind of forgot how expensive Oliver, B Oliver Bonus can be. Um, so yeah, I went in and like literally all, all the dresses were like 70 or 80 pounds. Like I don't want to spend that much money on a dress because like that's just not my price point. But luckily I did find another dress which was about 65 pounds. It doesn't really look 65 pounds. Like it's a nice dress but you could probably get something quite similar in like New Look or something. Um, but I was like, you know what, it fits me, there's no zips on it. I'll just get that. So I managed to get that and I managed to get my train to Brixton. And that was the story of my broken um, play suit. But honestly, it was just like, I just literally, I, I literally almost cried. I was like, oh my God, like I got my first ever award ceremony and my outfit literally broken because like, I bought that play suit for that event and I didn't even make it to the event. Um, but at the end of the day, like it was fine. I found another dress eventually anyway and I've got a lot of compliments on it actually. So <laughs> that was good. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go to Guildford today to return that because I did buy it online but I thought with things like that it's really hard to explain that kind of thing over an email um, and I think it's gone past like 30 days I bought it so yeah, I'm just going to bring it into the Guildford River Island and like ask them if I can get some money back or an exchange or something, I don't really know because um, at the end of the day I've only worn it once and I only wore it for like a few hours like it's not like, it's like dirty or anything so we'll see how that goes. I think that's my day today really. Um, I haven't got anything else planned. Obviously I'm going to do a workout as you can see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Workout done, as you can see by the state of me. I ordered the um, peach iced tea from My Protein, and like, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I wasn't expecting it to be like this kind of grey colour. It doesn't really taste like peach. I don't know if I've been given the wrong one. Like, the, the carton says like peach iced tea, but it tastes more like it tastes more like lemony. Like, it tastes more like lemon icy than peach iced tea, but. Like, it's alright, but not one of my favourites. I probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, but it's still, like, 20 grams of protein in this, which is pretty good, especially in water. Um, I think I preferred the cranberry and raspberry one I had last month. Um, but, yeah, and I did really enjoy the chocolate ones. But I was finding with the chocolate ones, I felt just really bloated just drinking milk all the time. So, even, like, with oat milk, 
I don't know, I guess it's like thicker than like a watery drink. Um, so yeah, that's why I've switched to watery proteins at the moment. And also just because it's so much just like nicer drinking a water drink than like milk. <laughs> um, but yeah, wouldn't recommend the peach iced tea from my protein. A few hours have passed now, as you can see, I've actually got ready. My hair is actually mental. It's that sort of hot, really humid weather. Well, it's not like hot, but yeah, my hair just frizzes when there's a slight bit of damp in the air. So... <laughs> That's that, and I just thought I'd just put a tiny bit of mascara and like my eyebrows on because I'm going to be in a mask most of it anyway. So yeah, I'm going to head into Guildford just to return that play suit. It's just up there, that's why I'm looking at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I might show you around, who knows. I reckon it'll be quite quiet, quiet today, it's like a Tuesday afternoon, so I don't know who's going to be shopping in Guildford at that time of day. But um, yeah, I might sit by the river as well as a drink or something, that might be quite nice, you know. Solo date vibes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll take you along with me. Then I got my eyebrows threaded whilst I was in Guildford, as you can see, they're very red, literally it's like I've been crying, but that was all good. <laughs> then I just sat by the river for a little bit after I did a little bit of shopping, um, just taking in views, although there's a lot of people around me and I did the reasoning of weed, but... I have come back with this dress from Zara, as we can see. <laughs> I like it, I mean I need high waist knickers on, but this slit does come up very high, which I mean it does like, even if you go to the side, it does still like cover everything. But yeah, I don't, it's just a tiny bit. I got this in a small because I knew if I got it on a medium, this top bit here would be like really big because I've like no boobs. Um, but we'll see. But also, I know I'm on my period like next week, hence why I look like three months pregnant. <laughs> Not pregnant, by the way. Um, but yeah, I do like the colours in it. As I said, just this bit is a bit high. Like if it came to like here, I think it'd be a bit more um, flattering. I don't know. Okay, better underwear, and I have just like adjusted it a little bit. Um, also, I can't quite do the back of the zip up, but you can like tuck it in if you see here. Um, and to be honest, who actually looks at your back? <laughs> you see what I mean? You wouldn't know that the zip isn't all the way done up and you just tie up that bit there. So it is growing on me. Um, it was like £30. Um, I'm going to see what my mum says, but can you see it's not as like high up on my bum as it was before. So it does like just cover everything. Um, but yes, we will see. I do think it's really cute. Um, so yes. So I did um, return my River Island play suit as well and I just got a refund on it because I couldn't actually, I don't think they had any more in stock in the store um, and I'd just be worried that it would break on me again. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get the refund for that soon. I always got my eyebrows done as you probably saw in the previous clip. Um, yes, I'm going to end this vlog here. It's been quite a long one today, I do apologise. <laughs> I feel just more confident vlogging around the house when like, no one else is in because both my brother and mum are like, at work today. Usually my brother works from home but he can like go into work a couple of days a week. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe to this video and I will see you next week for my next one. Bye.